Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and in today's video I wanted to see if it's possible for you to raise seven babies with one sim starting with zero simoleons. It's hard enough to raise seven babies if you have a nice house, everything's good, you know, you have a home, you have a fridge, you have a bed, um, but I wanted to do a rags to riches while raising seven babies all at the same time. I want to try to raise them from being babies to children and see how that goes. I decided to make my sim have all seven babies with Don Lothario just because it's funny. Um, I've already used MC cheats and everything just to be able to skip past all of the pregnancies and we gave birth to seven children all in one day so they're all the same age, they're all siblings, and they are all very fun. I'm very excited about this. If you enjoyed this video at any point throughout, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? You should make sure you do that down below. Hit that big red button and join us here. We have a lot of fun. So we're just gonna jump into the video and see how it goes. <laughs> so here we are. Uh, Dawn's still here because we just finished woohooing in a bush. That is the one thing I'm allowing her to have is a woohoo bush just so she can pee because everything else is gonna be difficult enough. Um, so we will be able to pee and nap in the bush. And that is the only thing I'm going to give the sim. She has zero simoleons and seven babies and honestly I think that right now she's feeling how the rest of us are feeling <laughs> that face uh I don't even know mm, she looks horrified and Don should just go home let's uh send that little buddy home because we don't need him anymore but all of our children are miserable I randomized all of their names so they're just all over the place I don't even know what their names are but as you can see they're already not in good moods and I it's gonna be even worse once they are toddlers because at least when they're babies you don't have to pay to feed them <laughs> so we need to just make sure we change everybody's dirty diaper I just went ahead and fed all of them to make sure that they are fully fed and we're not going to get any of them taken away but right now we just kind of want them all to sleep um can you just shush <laughs> as in shut it stop crying so we've already reached parenting level three and i've only been playing for a few minutes just to get her pregnant so we're definitely gonna get super efficient baby care how are you like hungry to the point of getting taken away it's been two seconds which one are you you're finley <laughs> janine um you weren't even the one that it said you were the one that it oh my god this is not gonna go well <laughs> I need them to all fall asleep at the same time so that I can go and like try to find frogs or something But that's probably not gonna happen. This is probably something I shouldn't have tried to do, but we're, we're going for it um, If you feed everybody they will be happy. How about you get a cuddle and you get some food? <laughs> oh my god, I already regret trying to do this, but it's okay. It's okay What I should do actually is put down the tiles so that we can be in a tiny home because then at least we'll be able to gain skills faster, gain relationships faster, all that jazz, just so I can have at least those benefits. Maybe we should look at some lot traits as well. What could we add to make our lives just a little bit happier? Uh, probably some of like, what does homey do? We don't need faster cooking, handiness, all that stuff. Natural light, painting photography, we don't need that either. What else can we get? Penny pixies, so we can get some free money. That's, that's a good one. Sunny aspect keeps your sims happier, so I like that one, because um, she's going to be miserable, and we all know that. And... Maybe we'll make it a private dwelling so that we have less visitors because I don't need random sims just hanging out here all day, every day. Okay, how <laughs> the, how are you all blue still? You should be in good moods. I thought the 100 baby challenge was hard. Okay, we're just gonna go down the line. How about we shush you, we rock you, we change your diaper. <laughs> I need for her to like earn income. This is not going well. Which ones are mad? Well, we've already reached parenting level four, so at least we'll get super efficient baby care rather soon because at level 10, you do get that, which is quite nice. How are you all miserable? I understand that you just ate, but like by the time I change all of their diapers, I'm just gonna have to go ahead and feed them all again. And you know what? I'm gonna go, mm, I'm gonna get her to go sleep because if she doesn't sleep, we're gonna be miserable. The woohoo bush is over here in the corner. So we're gonna get her to take a nap and then we'll just anytime, <laughs> We'll get her to go out and like try to do things and try to find things that we can sell, try to earn an income in some way. Go take a nap. Um, and then anytime we get a notification being like, hey, your babies are going to get taken away, we'll definitely come back because that's just what we're going to have to do. Okay, I don't know if the bushes are broken, but the game literally will not let me have her sleep in them. So that is a lost cause. Um, I will get rid of the money though, even though we're now doing worse than we were before because we don't even have anywhere to pee. So the bush just doesn't want to work. So we're going to have an even harder time. Um, I'm just gonna get her to take care of as many of the kids as possible. And then I don't even know what we're gonna eat. Oh, I hope that there's like grills around here or something. I did not think this through. <laughs> I probably should have picked a better location for foraging and all that stuff. We'll figure it out. It's all gonna be okay. Thank you so much child for sleeping. You are officially my favorite. 
let's go ahead and just feed everybody and I'll come back to you guys in the morning and we'll try to see if we can make this work. I was hoping that by morning we would at least have them like being pretty chill. No, they're all just still scream crying. So I'm gonna get her to just look around the world, try to find some things. Ooh, we've got a plant. Can, are you harvestable yet? Nope, of course not. Um, what else do we have going on? Ooh, 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 we have rocks we can dig up. We'll definitely do that. Um, is there anything else? <laughs> is it just one singular rock? Okay, so I found two diggable rocks. That's good, at least we've got two. So we can at least do something in this neighborhood. Can we, oh, we can't even rummage through the trash yet. We haven't lived here long enough to rummage. Ooh, we can harvest some sage. Look at us. We've gotten a capsule. We're getting some sage. We are gonna just be able to not take care of our children because this isn't gonna be enough money. But you know what? Sometimes you just gotta do it. Ooh, we can harvest some strawberries. We're definitely gonna just plant everything we get because we need consistent income. Because when they're toddlers, it's gonna be way harder to take care of them. That cherry tree has not yet grown. At least there's a park across the street for our kids to hang out at. And we have a place where we can order food once we do have a little bit of money because we're not gonna be able to afford a kitchen soon because we're gonna end up with like two toddler beds and like mm, seven toddlers to live in them. So that's probably not gonna go very well. Ooh, are those the same strawberries or different strawberries that I clicked on the first time? <laughs> Does she like gardening? Yes, please. She loves gardening. We need to love gardening <laughs> because she's gonna have to do a lot of it. Ooh, 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 we can look for frogs. There's a dig site. There's a rock. See, she's got lots of stuff we can do. We haven't gotten any notifications of what the baby's getting taken away, have we? Oh no, Barry is very hungry. Oh no. I can't get any of these children taken away, so I'm gonna have to stop everything I just did because Barry's hungry. Which one's Barry? No, you're not Barry. Where's Barry? Okay, Barry. 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 All right, we're going back up the line trying to make sure everybody's fed. Let's just feed them all. Cause like, I don't think that babies being stinky is a reason for them getting taken away. But if you like neglect them or don't feed them, then they may get taken away. So we should just feed all of them, make sure that they're fed and then it should be okay. I hope, <laughs> I really do hope that that'll be okay. Foodies Unite is in the lead. I don't care what kind of neighborhood action plans you enact. It's not gonna help me. Nothing will help me unless you have one that people will come take care of my children. That one would be nice. Okay, you're all sleeping. You're all no longer crying. So you're doing at least okay. So we can go try and find some more stuff. What have we managed to get thus far? We got five sage. I'm gonna get her to eat one strawberry, open up this capsule and extract the fossil just so we have some stuff to sell. Of course it's a broken fossil, only worth 10 simoleons, but you know what? We're moving on up in the world. A 65 simoleon my sim, I'm into it. <laughs> it's very difficult to make sure that you can take care of this many babies. Uh, let's get her to plant this stuff. So we can get some sage, go ahead, plant that. I know you're miserable, but like, you're gonna have to just go with the flow, girl. Cause uh, <laughs> we have a lot of children to take care of. It's almost their birthday. <laughs> Dawn's asking me on a date. No, Dawn, I would like for you, kind sir, to take care of your seven babies. Financially would be the best way. I'm gonna turn on earbuds, which you get with fitness stuff so that we can have just her be in a better mood because if she's miserable and like not having fun, that's terrible. So if she's gardening and listening to music, she's gonna be in a great mood. Reach gardening level two, she's killing it. Get her to water those and then go back to the line of children. It's almost their birthday, which is beautiful. <laughs> We've reached parenting level six, also beautiful. So go down the line, change dirty diaper, do some feeding. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking when I decided that this would be a good idea. But you know what? These kids, these kids are going to grow up with a lot of love around them. Not from Don, because Don is not going to be a good dad. I can feel it in my soul. He doesn't care about them, but it's okay. It's going to be okay. The ultimate goal is just not to get anyone taken away. If I can manage to age these kids up to children without anyone getting taken away, then that is a win in my books. I think with a little bit of money that we've earned so far, we should go to this little booth here across the street and get her something to eat. We can get popcorn shrimp. That sounds fun because she definitely needs to eat and maybe just find a bench for her to sleep on. We only have 75 simoleons, now only 66 simoleons. So we're not doing the greatest. Marjorie has learned how to cook popcorn shrimp. I love that for her. Um, let's try to find some more stuff for us to make money. Here's a little pile you can dig. None of the kids are gonna get taken away because you are a great mom. So we managed to get her two more fossils, two more time capsules. So we have this fossil that's worth 45 simoleons. We've got four carrots, which we'll plant. This one, 175, can I get her a bed? We might be able to afford a bed. We are going to open these up. It's kind of a risk to open up time capsules because they're usually worth more money if you don't open them. But then sometimes you get one that's like, ooh, that one's worth a lot. But we now have 331 simoleons. I think I can get like the cheapest kind of bed for 255, so she has a bed. We are moving on up in the world. This is beautiful. Uh, how much is it for like an actual toilet? 
250. We cannot afford a toilet, but she can afford a bed, which is very nice. Um, she doesn't need to pee right now. I'm gonna get her to take care of the kids one last time and then just head to bed and hope for the best tomorrow. Got woken up with a bunch of babies crying and a lot of they're gonna all get taken away notifications. So I just have to make her at 3.30 in the morning when she's very sleepy and has slept for approximately four minutes, go ahead and take care of some of these kids. This is way harder than I thought it would be. I can't wait till they're toddlers when they're a little bit more self-sustaining and I can just like buy some food and like leave it there. That'll be really nice. Very, very nice. <laughs> Ooh, so we actually already have some stuff to harvest. We can sell some strawberries and we can water all of our plants. She's still miserable, but I'm just not even gonna deal with it. I'm gonna get her to eat some of the carrots that she found just so that she can have a quick little snack. Please don't pass out on the floor. We have so much to do. <laughs> oh no, this poor Sim. I feel so bad. She's so miserable and I can't even get her in a better mood at all. Okay, can you eat your carrot at least so you don't starve to death? Thank you so much, ma'am. Um, go ahead and take a quick sleep. Annoyingly, the baby's crying keeps waking her up. So I really need to be able to afford like a room, but walls are way too expensive for me to be able to like block her in. Like one wall is 60 simoleons. So I can't even, I can afford two. That's bad. That's really, really bad. Um, Did you end up selling? No, you're way too uncomfortable to do literally anything. Mm, not good, not good. I could like, ooh. <laughs> please age up. Are they aging up today at least? Oh, thank goodness it's everyone's birthday today. Cause at least they'll be toddlers. At least I can see what's wrong with them instead of just like shot in the dark being like, okay, are they hungry? Are they stinky? Can they mm, do something to sustain themselves? Cause I can't deal with this anymore. Cause they're all just crying. This poor woman, why did I do this to her? We've reached parenting level nine. So that's pretty good. We can definitely do a better job. She's just gonna pass out on the ground with all of her babies behind her. Honestly, did we expect anything better? Even just taking care of seven kids when you have a full house would be very difficult. Like, I don't even know. I would like to try to get her to plant all of these carrots so that we can have more stuff for her to be able to sell. It's their birthday, thank goodness. Um, and she also needs, really needs to water some stuff. Oh, none of the plants need water. Okay, never mind. We don't need to water stuff. So she just really needs some food and she really needs some sleep. So I'm gonna get her to go across the street again and get herself something to eat so that she doesn't starve. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do for actually feeding the children. No one is working. Oh, The Sims 4, how we love her. Nope. Oh, and now we have a vampire working. That makes sense. Definitely, that makes sense. She's also overheating. She might even die, who knows? How is Caleb surviving? <laughs> Um, girl, can you wake up? I need you to change your outfit into summer clothes so you don't die, number one. And then I really just want those kids to just age up, please. And then go ahead, order some food, please, before you die. What is wrong with you? This poor woman, she now has like bugs. She's itchy. Oh my gosh, looking at her makes me itchy. She's ill, we can't afford medicine. She's just gonna have to deal with it. And of course, Alfaba's come to visit. Oh my goodness, she looks so sad eating that food I oh at least you're full at least you got to eat now you can go home I wonder what people think as they walk by are they like um why are there so many children without a home are these kids homeless are these kids free can we take them can we save them probably all of the above uh try to feed as many of them before you pass out as humanly possible thank you so much at least now that she's so high in the parenting skill the little bubbles come up and tell us like what we need to do but it's not that helpful <laughs> So since all the kids are gonna age up today, I do need to get some toddler stuff out in this world. Um, we're gonna honestly probably not get a potty yet because just that's gonna be expensive and we have seven kids. So I need more than one bed, which we can't really afford. The cheapest bed is 160. So we'll need two of those. And that is all we can afford right now. I can't afford any toys except for one little toy car. So they're gonna have to play with each other unfortunately. Um, that's bad, that's really bad. We only have two beds for seven babies. How are we gonna make that work? We'll find out, we will find out. All of you just jump out of your bassinets, man. Age up, I can't deal with you anymore. <laughs> At least we have some plants so we can make a bit of money from that. Hopefully the kids will be able to like survive. I can't, uh, it's very stressful. All right, our kids are starting to age up. I'm gonna randomize their traits, which is gonna be a mistake, but this kid is inquisitive. That's good, we've got one. <laughs> She's paying attention to them. Oh, they're getting very hungry. That's bad. That's really bad. This child is independent. You are a beautiful soul. I love you so much. You will be my favorite kid if you're independent because that means I don't have to potty train you. Ooh, Dawn's gonna send gifts. We can make money from that. This one is also inquisitive. Ooh, 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 Dawn is sending us presents. <laughs> I am so excited. Oh, you're really cute. At the concept of Dawn sending us presents because we can sell those. That counts. 
Our next kid is also, I don't know why they're all randomizing as inquisitive, but I'm fine with it. At least they're not fussy and annoying. Dawn is sending more presents. Carissa is aging up and is angelic. That's quite adorable. We have so many toddlers, so little time. <laughs> so the next baby aged up and is a charmer. Oh, they're all walking through the bassinets. I'm also gonna sell the bassinets, but I'm going to cheat it back down so we don't get the money from them because I feel like that's kind of cheaty and not good. Oh, we have another baby who's a charmer, nice. So we currently have zero simoleons. That is where we're gonna start. That is where we're gonna stay with our toddlers. We managed to get beds for everybody, which is nice. See, I could have a lot of money, but we're just gonna not because it's more fun that way, right? To torture me, it's more fun that way. But we will be selling any gifts that Don sent for his seven children, which is hopefully a lot of gifts. And all of the kids aged up in like pretty good mood. So I'm just gonna leave them to their own devices while I try to deal with their mom. She really is gonna pee her pants like any minute, but she can just go to sleep. Um, I'm gonna need to get like a bathtub shower combo at some point. This is not going well. She just woke up and peed her pants, but at least she can go to sleep. <laughs> no, stop paying attention to your children. Stop playing with the kids, ignore them, go to sleep. Vlad came to visit, <laughs> but for some reason he decided to clean up the messes that my kids have made. And I'm cool with that. I'm cool with it. I love the concept of like the mom just sleeping in the middle of this like field where two of her other children are sleeping because they're good kids. And then all the other five are just running around doing whatever they want, painting on the ground, yelling at each other, giving each other hugs, just having a good time. It's very interesting. So it is morning time. I'm gonna leave my kids here just for a little bit so we can kind of wander, try to find some more plants, try to find other things that we can get some money from so that we can feed our children because we definitely need a fridge of some kind to feed these kids because they're all gonna starve to death. And like, that's not good. We don't wanna get our kids taken away. We can harvest some carrots, just look around the world in the middle of the night. This is uh, how you get kidnapped. Kids don't do things like this. This is dangerous. So I think my strategy is just to give the kids harvestables. I'm gonna like put some strawberries on the ground and get them to eat those. <laughs> and then maybe put some carrots on the ground and get them to eat those because if I, I don't have a fridge, I don't have any way to actually feed them. So that's not gonna go very well uh, at all. So we'll just put some vegetables on the ground and send them to eat and hope for the best. You can eat a strawberry. You, are you hungry? Only if you're hungry, please do not waste our food. We do not have enough food for you. And then you can go to sleep and you can go to sleep after you eat your strawberry. Look at us, look at us. We are doing so well. One strawberry will sustain you for years to come, I hope. <laughs> but at least she's, she's doing a lot better. She's in a lot better of a mood. Let's go ahead and sell these strawberries. We also have carrots to sell and we have no sage to sell, unfortunately. <laughs> but we do have 153 simoleons. She's feeling very, she's hysterical. Please don't die, please, no death, no dying, no, no. Chill out, breathe. How about you do some singing? Please just don't die. You're not allowed to be hysterical because if you die, this this would be bad. That is not the goal. We're gonna send her over here to get some actual food because like we can feed the kids just vegetables, but like she needs some actual sustenance to take care of all of these little kids. No, 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 no. You are not hysterical dying right now. <laughs> what? 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 If you watch the Cottage Living Let's Play, we just had a sim randomly die at the friggin' wedding too. I, this is not what we wanted. This was not the goal. I'm trying to raise these children with no money. Of course she dies. Of course, of course, of course, this is how this ends. All these kids are gonna get taken away, not because of my neglect, but because they died. Oh my good. Are you kidding me? This is a joke, right? <laughs> what to do what i was just trying to send her to go get food so she could chill out of course she yeah i understand that the kids are hungry their mom is dead what do you want me to do i guess that's the end of this video um that is not how i expected that to pan out i expected it to go a lot better for some reason i'm now moving with the dreamer family and some of my children so like that's good at least they have someone to take care of them <laughs> if you enjoyed this video uh give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i really hope you're having an awesome day and i'll see you next time where hopefully my sims won't die <laughs> Bye, everybody.